From the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Corey Sima. My goodness, what a day Saturday has turned into. We told you it looked like a damp weekend, and boy, it's turned into that. Check out Jacksonville Beach on the First Alert Skycam Network before sunset on Saturday evening. It is a gloomy view out there, and our satellite and radar imagery it's covered with the rain across virtually all of Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. The rain is a little bit lighter up into Southeast Georgia. We're talking Northern Ware County, Pierce County, Brantley County, and then Northern Glen County, but everywhere else, this is just a steady light to moderate rain. It is heaviest over Northeast Florida, and it will continue to be heaviest over Northeast Florida into your Saturday night. The moisture extends all the way back into the Gulf of Mexico, and this is all behind a cold front that is pushed down into Central and South Florida. The moisture continues to stream up over the local area behind that front. So on Sunday, the rain's really not going to go anywhere. We will continue with the rain by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. If you are up and at it early, headed to morning services, or you got some errands to run, you're going to need the rain boots, the umbrella, the rain jacket, that sort of thing. It's also going to be pretty chilly. You see Waycross at 48, Jacksonville in the low 50s with mid 50s at the coast. The rain is going to come to an end first up in southeast Georgia, and that may happen as early as Sunday morning to midday. You see at noon, they're still green on the map. This one scenario of the future rainfall forecast hour by hour, you see it gets rid of most of the rain by 4 to 5 o'clock Sunday afternoon. I think that is the best case scenario. I think for the Jacksonville Metro, the earliest we could see the rain come to an end is by 4 to 5 o'clock Sunday afternoon. But the rain will continue near and to the south of I-10, even into Sunday afternoon and evening, including down in Daytona Beach. That's just at the bottom of this view. But you still see a little bit of rain hanging around Sunday night near the coast and in particular in northeast Florida. Things are looking up for Monday. But Sunday, the Daytona 500, the actual race with that green flag dropping just after 310, that is certainly in jeopardy. And we have also been talking about that. I, I told you last weekend uh, that we would have to keep an eye on the weather for Daytona. Temperatures will be in the low 60s. We will continue to see that rain off and on through the day, even into Sunday afternoon and evening. The heaviest rain amounts will be near and south of Interstate 10. This is on top of the rain that has already fallen. Some spots as of Saturday afternoon have received a half inch of rain. Those amounts have been a little bit less up in southeast Georgia, and we aren't going to add a whole lot to those rain gauges up in southeast Georgia, but it looks likely we'll see an additional one to two inches of rain if you live near or south of Interstate 10. The rain will be even heavier, though, farther to the south, and that's why it's looking more and more unlikely, like the Daytona 500 is not going to happen on Sunday. There is that forecast rain total of more than two inches of rain in Daytona Beach. So coming up tonight on Fox 30 at 10 o'clock, we're going to roll into President's Day Monday. I'm going to show you when the sun comes out, and there are some cold nights ahead. We'll be on again on CBS 47 at 11. We'll see you later tonight.